The Grade 11 Unsolved Problem was suggested at the conference by Brian Conray. It's some work that he's been working on that's really interesting, so it's a new unsolved problem. Here's a dice. You can notice that the sum of the pips on the dice is equal to 21 if you add them all up. And Brian Conray asks, okay, let's not just look at dice like that, but let's look at if you chose any dice whose pips add up to 21, so each face has to have at least one pip, and all faces together have to have 21 pips. Okay, on dice like that, for example, this dice here, uh, if you take three of those dice, randomly chosen, what is the probability that you're going to get something called non-transitivity? Non-transitivity means that, in this case, if you play a game, so you, I, I'm the red dice and I roll, and I play against a blue player and they roll their dice and they roll, and we see who's got the higher roll, that I'm going to beat blue with this dice, red's going to beat blue, blue's going to beat green, and then green is going to beat red. That's unusual, but in actual fact, the work of Brian Conray shows that this happens about a quarter of the time as your dice becomes really, really big. So these dice only have six faces, but if you have really big dice, it looks like this happens a quarter of the time. But there's no proof yet that that's actually happening. What you'd expect to happen, uh, most of us, would be that uh, in this situation we have one dice, the green dice, that beats both the red and the blue dice. And that, that's kind of the intuition of what would happen most of the time. But it looks like that only happens three quarters of the time. Another unsolved problem that was considered was Markov numbers. There is no funner equation to explore quadratics than this. So what's the solution? Can you find it? Well, x, y, z is equal to 1, 1, 1 is a solution. But then you can fix two of those, so let's fix x and y, and let's see which other numbers z could be. Well, children are capable of doing that, and what you end up with is an equation in z. And the result is that 1, 1, 2 is also a solution. But then you can fix 1 and 2, and you can search for another solution, and we find out that 1, 2, and 5. We're always going to organize these uh, triples from lowest to highest whenever we find them. So look down at the bottom. Do you see the 5, 29, 433 triple? The unsolved problem here is that for any of these triples, does the largest number is it only the largest for one of these triples? So 433, is that the largest uh, number in only one of these triples? Leo Moser observed that the sum 1 to infinity of 1 over n times 1 over n plus 1 is equal to 1. Well, these could be rectangles. So for example, we could have the first rectangle here would be 1 times 1 half. And the second rectangle would be one-half times a third. And you can see that there's a question here. Could all of these rectangles get packed into the unit square? Unsolved. 